that by reading this story. This is one of my favourite stories and I'm so glad I get to read it to you. Good morning, how are you? We're back to work of the week again. And this week I've chosen somebody who's been working at home online. Uh, this person has produced work after work after work after work after work. There's so much for me to look at and enjoy marking. Uh... Today I'm going to be reading to you a story off book club called Finding a Friend with Charlie and Alice. If you want to have a look online on Active Learn and read with me, that's absolutely fine. So you're just going to search for the book Finding a Friend. Um, and I'm going to read you the first few chapters and then we're going to read the, the last part of it next week. Okay? Um, it's got to tell me how long are the scissors. Okay? So it goes up to here. So this is how many whole centimetres you've got. And then each little one is worth one millimetre. Okay, so you tell me how many whole centimetres in there and then how many millimetres. Try and count the individual tiny ones, okay? He has been so good logging in every single day, completes all his work and he's just fantastic across the board. So well done Max for winning this week. <laughs> you how to use some scissors so I've got some scissors here just like the ones that you use I took it out of our creative area so when you hold scissors you put two fingers in the bottom and one in the top so like this look can I show you on here so two fingers at the bottom a thumb on the top open the mouth and go chop chop and some PSHE work and she's always letting me know how she's getting on with different things using the speech bubbles asking for help if she needs it she's just done really well this half term so well done and keep up the hard work. Hi today we are going to talk about our season which is winter <gasps> it's winter and guess why I can tell I'm so 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 cold have you noticed what Miss Brown's got on I have got a whirly hat, some gloves, and a big coat to keep me wrapped up warm. What I've got to work out first is the seven. How many fives are there in seven? Now I know that seven isn't in the five times table because it doesn't end in a five or a zero. So what I've got to do is think, what is the nearest multiple of five that comes before seven? This planet first. So to do that, I need to turn him to the left. Click on the left button. Then we need to go forwards. I haven't quite got there, have I? So I need to click forwards again. Forwards again. Hello, children. This week is RE week at Cleve Primary and I'm Miss Sanders and I'm in charge of all things RE at Cleve. So, I'm going to be setting you all an amazing artistic RE challenge that I want every single person in the school to have a go at this week as part of your afternoon topic lessons. So I, so I thought I really can't wait to be Hug my family and hug my friends. So definitely on there, I am going to put hugs. You're then going to colour it in. So, I've coloured mine in using felt tips. Because it's really important that you make it look really colourful and bright. Okay. Now, I've coloured it all in. I've added a few extra bits and bobs. I added an extra little daffodil here. And I added the word go at the top. So, your job. You're going to have a go at creating your own thought bubble piece of artwork. All about the special things that you're looking forward to the most when life gets back to a bit of normality. Hello, first one. Hope you are all well and keeping safe. I thought today I would share a poem with you. 
The poem is by the author Julia Donaldson. You will probably have read some of her books before, including The Gruffler, A Squash and a Squeeze, and Tiddler. <gasps> what sound is that? It's the... Mmm, sound. Do you remember when we did that? Mmm, put your lips together. Mmm, well done. <gasps> I wonder if when I pat the balloon at you, if you can tell me where beginning with this sound. Are you ready? <gasps> I'll start. Ready? Mouse! <gasps> Hi everyone, so I've just had a quick look at your maths. This all been yesterday's maths and the two digits by two digits. Um, and I just have noticed a few little mistakes that some people are making. So I just wanted to show you this method again because you will need it today as well. I can just show where some of you might be going a bit wrong. So for example, if I was to do 34 Sorry, it's really hard to write on Monkey Mouse on here. So if I was to do 34 times 12, for example, loads of you have been absolutely superstars at the one bit. What we do for the ones, so we've got our tens, we've got our ones. Today's lesson is all about plurals. So what is a noun? A noun is a naming word, such as dog, pencil, or cat. A plural means that there is more than one of those. So there is one cat, but there are three cats. For today's lesson, we are going to be constructing block graphs. For the main lesson, you've got a starter on My Maths. You need to click the link here, and that will take you to the website. You should have your login details, but if not, get in touch and I'll send those over for you. The main lesson itself is based around this table here. It shows different vehicles that pass my house. Good morning Year 5, today is Tuesday the 9th of February 2021 and we've got a fun day plan today. So in maths we have got our end of unit check for multiplication and division. We finally made it to the end of the unit and rather than really well with this because it's been quite tricky. Um, so this is just the end of unit check to see what you've understood so far and what we may need to go over again. Uh -oh. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to the Head of School Award Assembly for the week ending the 5th of February. Hope you're all well and keeping safe. This week we launched the new daily Google Meet sessions and they have proved to be really successful. The first category is animals, so I'm going to do three questions all about animals. So number one, can you name three animals beginning, beginning with the letter P? And your topic work this afternoon is to match the pictures to whether you think they belong in Brandon or an African village. So just drag the picture to the correct column. I hope you all have a lovely day and a lovely weekend and I'll see you all next week. Bye!